Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to be solving April 2019 university question paper under the subject risk management. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students. So let us see what are the questions that had appeared in April 2019 and the way how to solve them. Okay, sure. First question, the following particulars are furnished about mutual fund scheme of A, B and C. Uh, they are giving you dividend distribution, capital appreciation, opening NAV, beta. If government of India bonds carries an interest of 6.84, that is a risk-free return, and the Nifty has increased by 12.13%, ascertain the alpha of the three schemes and evaluate the performance. Now, when such kind of uh, question has been asked, let us see how to solve. Okay, The very first thing that you will need to solve is, you are finding the... Uh, you know first step will always be calculation of expected return under CAPM. Jensen is always uh, you know alpha is under Jensen and Jensen is always associated with CAPM method okay so the expected return is risk-free return which is 6.84 plus beta now betas are given individually 1.46 1.1 and 1.40 into market return okay the market return given is 12.13 so nifty has been considered as a market minus risk free return that is 8.6.84 for a company a or stock a or mutual fund scheme a ke liye risk free was 6.84 plus 1.46 is a beta into 12.13 that is the market return minus risk free was 6.84 the value came to 14.56 second same way for b again it would be 6.84 plus 1.10 into 12.13 minus 6.84 which came to 12.66 Similarly, for third, it came as 14.25%. So, first step is always you need to calculate as per expected return as per CAPM method. Now, second thing that you need to find is the total return because not given us in the question. Okay, the returns are not given. So, total return ka formula is dividend per plus the capital appreciation. So, dividend was 1.5, appreciation is also 1.5, so it came to 3. Second guide was 2 and 2, so that became 4 and 3 plus 3 became 6. Once you get total return, we need to find the actual return. So actual return ka formula is total return upon opening NAV into 100. So 3 upon 20 into 100, 4 upon 30 into 100 and 6 upon 40 into 100. We got the actual returns as 15%, 13.33% and another 15%. Once we get that the last step where we actually need to find the alpha, so Jensen's alpha ka formula is actual return minus expected return. So actual was 15, expected was 14.56. So 15 minus 14.56, we got it as 0.44. 13.33 minus 12.66, we got it as 0.67. And 15 minus 14.25, we got it at 0.75%. So with that, uh, we were able to solve the first sum, which was based on calculating alpha. Okay, now. That was the first sum. Now let us check what was the second sum. Okay, now uh, if you from the alpha point of view, you have to select which one is the better one among all. So C is the better one because the Jensen alpha, there's a huge difference between the expected and all. Okay. So, so now let us check which was the next. This was the first question which was there. One first practical question. The next practical question is from the following information, calculate beta. They are giving you return on security and market return. So we have noted down return on security and market return. Total it up, it came to 190 and 130. In order to find beta, very first step that you'll require is the expected return. Okay, so for that, uh, you know, basically we need to find the average. So RS bar that is 190 divided by 5 and RM bar which is 130 divided by 5. So we got it at 38 and 26. Next column will be RS minus RS bar and RM minus RM bar. So that will be 35 minus 38, 38 minus 38, 34 minus 38 and so on. And RM minus RM bar. So 22 minus 26, 26 minus 26, 24 minus 26 and so on. Next step will be where we need to find the product of both the columns. So that will be RS minus RS bar into RM minus RM bar. We multiply, we get the total. And last will be RM bar, RM minus RM bar, the whole square ka column and the total of that. Once we get these two total, the next thing that we need to find is covariance with the second last column ka total divided by n minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 44 divided by 4 is 11. Next standard division square m is last column upon n minus 1. So 40 divided by 4 which comes to 10. 
last step beta is equal to 11 divided by 10 which comes to 1.1 okay so this was the second question which was there in this question paper now let us jump to the last question which was there uh, they are giving you the losses uh, with the probability and they are told you to find the fair premium if policy provide full coverage underwriting cost is 20 percent of your premium claims are paid interest is at eight percent claim processing cost is 500 uh, and the fair profit is five percent of pure premium under this the very first step is we need to find pure premium or that is nothing but the expected claim the formula for which is loss into the probability so 0 0.02 into 1 lakh plus 0 0.08 into 20,000 we get the total as 3,600 step number two we need to find the PV so PV will be expected claim ka amount upon 1 plus the rate of interest which is 8 so 1.08 which comes to 333.33 that's our first value which is required next we need to find now they have given you underwriting cost is given which is 20 percent of premium and processing cost is given as 500 so underwriting cost is 20 percent of premium uh, of expected claims so it came to 720 expected claim was 500 so ag expected administrative cost is the addition of both which came to 1220 once we get that we need to find the pv of expected admin cost so 1220 divided by 1.08 so we got the value as 1129.62 that is our second value that we require last uh, they are giving you the fair profit which is 5% uh, of pure, so 5% of 3600 is 180. PV of that will be 180 divided by 1.08, so it comes to 166.66. Last, fair premium is PV of expected claim plus admin plus fair profit. So when you add up all those three values, our final answer comes to 4629.61. So this was the third sum, and this is how you'll have to solve the sum based on their expected. Uh, sorry, based on fair premium, calculation of fair premium. I hope everyone have understood. We saw all the three types of sum. First one was based on uh, Jensen Sulfur, then was beta and third one was fair premium. So I hope everyone have understood that. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.